This video is sponsored by EditingCorp.com. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Nikhil and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create this clean and professional looking lower third into After Effects using shape layers from the scratch. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it and get started. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to create a new composition and name this main comp. And change the width to 9020 and height to 1080. 30 frames and 10 seconds should be good enough. Then I'm going to create a new composition again and change the width and height to 150 pixels. This is going to be our logo of the lower third. So first of all, I'm going to create a new solid by hitting Ctrl Y on the keyboard and hit OK. Then I'm going to just rename this to logo 1. Then I'm going to select the layer and select my move anchor point tool and just move the anchor point to the right side of the layer right over there. Then I'm going to select my layer again and hit S to bring down the scale properties and unlink them. Then I'm going to create a new keyframe at the very beginning of the comp and drag that keyframe to maybe around one second. Then I'm going to change the properties to zero. Then we need to select both the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Go to the graph editor and create kind of a motion. So where the peak is high, the motion is going to be fast and as it settles down slowly, the motion is going to be a little bit slow. So to understand this, if I just play this, you can see it starts pretty fast and subtle down slow. Then I'm going to go to effects and type in fill and drag it on the layer. Change the color to something like blue maybe. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Then I'm going to duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D on the keyboard and create four copies maybe. Then I'm going to drag each copy to five frames or I'm going to displace each copy by five frames. So I'm going to move logo 2 to 5 frames, logo 3 to 10 frames and logo 4 to 15 frames. Then I'm going to select the logo 4 and change the color to white. Then I'm going to select the logo 2 and change the color to white as well. So now we should have something like this. Looks pretty nice and good. Then I'm going to drag in my logo. So I'm going to use the Twitter logo for this. Maybe I'll just scale this down to let's say 7% and just center this up. Maybe 8 or maybe 9% should work good. Okay, this looks pretty perfect. Now we need to animate the logo as well. So to do that, I'm going to go to let's say 15 frames and hit P to bring down the position properties of the logo. Then I'm going to create a keyframe and drag that keyframe to let's say one second and five frames and then just drag this logo to somewhere around there and it's gonna create a keyframe automatically. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, select the keyframes, hit F9 to easy ease and create the same motion. Then I'm gonna select my logo 4 and duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D on the keyboard and drag this above. This is gonna work as a mat for our logo so I'm gonna just rename this pretty quickly. Then I'm going to change my logo track mat to alpha mat. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Maybe I'll just need to tweak the keyframes a little bit because the logo is getting in a little bit faster. So maybe I'll just move this five frames backwards or forwards, I mean. Okay, this is looking pretty nice. Then pretty quickly, I'm going to just change the color to the color of the logo. So just select the Pickwick tool and select the color from the logo. Then I'm going to go to my main comp that we previously created and turn on my title action safe. Then first of all, I'm going to rename my comp to the logo comp and 
drag that logo composition into the main comp. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit just to be a little bit precise and place it in the position that we want. Okay, there we go, looks perfect. Then I'm gonna hit Ctrl R to bring down the scale and just drag the guides just to be a little bit precise. Now we need to create our text for the lower third. So to do that, I'm gonna create a new composition and change the width to 650 pixels. And this should work pretty good. You can also go for 700 pixels or 800 pixels as per your requirement. And now I'm gonna do the exact same thing that we did for the logo. So first of all, I'm gonna create a new layer that is a new solid by hitting Ctrl Y on the keyboard and hit OK. Then I'm just gonna rename this pretty quickly to text one. And then I'm gonna select this, select my anchor point tool and move the anchor point to the left side of the layer. Then I'm gonna hit S to bring down my scale properties, unlink the scale properties and create a keyframe at the beginning and drag this to let's say one second and make this down to zero. Then I'm gonna select my both the keyframe and hit F9 to easy ease them, go to graph editor and create the same motion that we previously created. So it's just repeating the same step to create the text, nothing much to it. Then I'm gonna to go to my logo comp and copy the fill. So hit Ctrl C to copy. Then I'm gonna select my text one layer and hit Ctrl V. So this is gonna copy the fill effect on the layer. Then I'm gonna duplicate it three times so that we have four copies and displace each copy by five frames. And then I'm gonna select my text four layer change it to white and then my text to layer and change it to white as well. So it is basically the same thing. So now we should have something like this and it looks pretty nice. Now we need to type in our text which is gonna be in our lower third. So for this I'm gonna just type in follow me on Twitter maybe. Just change this color so maybe we can see this Okay, then I'm gonna place this in the center and increase this to let's say 50 pixels, should work good. Then I'm gonna change the color by using the pick whip tool and change the color to the similar blue color. Then I'm gonna go to let's say 15 frames and hit P to bring down the position properties Click and create a new keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch. Move that keyframe and then I'm gonna move my text layer. So it's gonna automatically create a new keyframe. Select the keyframe, hit F9 and go to graph editor and do the same. Then I'm gonna duplicate my text four layer and create a mat for our text. So just rename this mat so that we don't get messed up and change the text track mat to alpha mat and it's gonna do the same thing as we did for the logo. So far so good and easy as well. Now I'm gonna go to my main comp and drag my text but before that I'm just gonna rename this to the text comp and drag this into my main comp. Just fit this right in a little bit closer to the logo and Maybe I'll just displace the text layer or the text comp by five frames just to give a little bit of randomness to it. So now if I play this, you can see it looks pretty nice. Yep, that is looking really, really nice. Now we need to create that accents or the lines that you saw in the previous lower third or the overlays you can say. So before that, I'm just going to move my guides to a little bit upper and lower side. So we're going to create a new shape layer onto that guide. So I'm going to lock this guide. Then I'm going to select my pen tool and create a new shape layer. And create kind of a line 
just like this and keep the stroke to let's say two pixels should work good okay that is looking pretty nice you can hide the guides and I'm gonna rename this line one okay then I'm gonna go and add trim parts and now you can see as I move the start you can see the line starts to get animated then I'm gonna bring my end percent to zero go to let's say about 20 frames create a keyframe then I'm gonna go to maybe five one second and five frames and create a new keyframe and bring this up to 100 then I'm gonna hit on the start stopwatch and create a keyframe and bring this up to 100 as well something like this okay this is looking pretty good now we need to select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them so you should have something like this now it is looking a little bit lame so to do that I'm gonna do so to give a little bit of motion I'm gonna just create the same kind of motion that we previously created so select the keyframe and go to graph editor and do the same kind of motion that we did before just to get a little bit of character to it now I'm going to go to let's say right over here and hit alt and close bracket just to cut this up just to avoid that axis layer then I can move this around and play with this and just place this then I'm going to hit ctrl D to duplicate it and make sure the anchor point is in the center and then I'm going to just drag this below just like this hold shift to just to be a little bit precise then I'm gonna displace this a little bit by let's say 5 to 10 frames it's totally on you this will give some randomness to it which looks kind of cool yeah that is looking pretty nice then I'm gonna create a new shape and bring up my guides and create kind of a square shape for this logo reveal so I'm just gonna click something like that pretty randomly I'm gonna create something like a half a quarter square whatever you can say okay maybe I need to tweak a little bit you know take your time and just tweak the settings and make this look perfect I'm just gonna do it a little bit faster just so that the tutorial don't be a little bit longer so I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the same thing again I'm gonna add the trim parts go to let's say let's say around 10 frames hit on the end stopwatch bring this down to 0% and hit on the stopwatch go to around 25 frames and bring this up to 100 maybe around one second then I'm gonna go to 15 frames and click on the start stopwatch go to around one second five frames and bring this up to 100 as well so now we should have something like this kind of a cool accent select the keyframe hit F9 to easy ease them now we should have something like this which actually looks pretty nice and really really professional and as you can see it is that simple to create so yep I think that's it for today you can also follow me on Twitter Instagram and Facebook if you wish to so I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and I'll see you in my next video till then take care and thanks for watching guys Like this, tell me am I looking like this? No, not at all. You can control. You think I'm so we but I'm not at all. Am I looking like this? Tell me am I looking like this? In my world, swing and swipe. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I'm wearing some bling bling made by Gucci, riding a trio by Ferrari. Cross me somewhere in the street, maybe. I would just look.